What's up guys, Patrick here, New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Got Rick back on the channel today. He's got a new build now and he's gonna give us a tour of this short sprinter. And what he did in this thing is he maximized every single inch possible. Hello Rick and welcome back to New Jersey Outdoor Adventures. Thanks Patrick, it's good to be back on the channel. And uh, I got this uh, 2022 Mercedes Sprinter 4x4 six cylinder turbo diesel. It's one of the last years that they have the low on it. It's brand new. It's got a five year, 100,000 mile extended warranty. Up front, it's got every single option possible. And in fact, it's almost a little bit too much. You need a manual just to operate the thing. From the back, I got a bare slate. So I had a bare slate to start with and this thing turned out incredible. So what I did, it took me five months of working every single day, but it was well worth it. And I'm happy to show you this tour. Let's go and check out the van. Outside, uh, I wanted to, you know, van life is a lot about being outside. So we have a, a uh, little table that'll slide out uh, for your evening. Uh, it's got an outlet right here if you want to use use a uh, plug something in. It's got a uh, little mood lighting for the evening lights, and you got your USB ports. There's USB ports everywhere on this thing, so it's it's set up to live in. Uh, I spent 11 years living on a sailboat, five years living in a van, built houses, uh, commercial fishermen. Uh, it's taught me a lot. So all of that experience is accumulating in this van and uh, I'm really proud of it and I think you're gonna really enjoy this tour. Okay, below the table we've got two little cubbies where you can store things out here, a rug or your shoes or whatnot. We have laminate flooring throughout the van which is nice, durable, easy to clean finish. Nice aluminum edge here so things don't get banged up. Come on inside and I'll give you the layout of the land in here. Uh, we've got the two swivels up here that provides a nice seating area, very comfortable, great utility. Uh, we've got this lagoon table that swings around uh, that can serve as a workstation or as a meal station. We've got plenty of counter space here. The van is laid out in a split kitchen design, meaning we have two sides to it. Uh, we've got the uh, refrigerator here. We've got a shower here with a porta potty. We've got a queen size bed. And then we've got a massive garage in the back to hold all your toys. Up front, let's go into the Mercedes deal a little bit. This van has every single option possible. Everything electronic, heated seats, swivel seats, uh, the 10-inch uh, screen. Uh, it's got a chargeable porch. You can just stick your phone right up in here. It's got adaptive cruise control. Like I said, every single option that Mercedes offers. It's a 2022 four-wheel drive, six-cylinder turbo. Not making these anymore. This is the last year they made these gems. Let's dive into a little bit more detail on the build. The build is based on 80-20 framing throughout, which is structurally very strong and lightweight, and it has a nice aesthetic look to it. And it provides a great utility to, to building a camper van, uh, and I really enjoyed working with it. I worked at Humble Road, and he taught me quite a bit uh, about the 80-20, and I incorporated, stole a lot of his tricks here, and put it into this build. Okay, right here, this is my favorite place. Well, I'm not my favorite place because I don't live in this van, but it would be make a great place to hang out to either work on your laptop or enjoy a meal or put your laptop over there and watch a video. Uh, this table was designed to come off very easily and it stores right over here in this little cubby and you can take the arms off, they slide on there and then it just simply Velcro's closed like that. Over here we've got a uh, an outlet for uh, uh, 110 and a USB port right here and then under here is a boot heater which will have a little platform down below so if you got your snowboard boots or your ski boots you can stick them on there crank that up and uh, they'll dry out overnight. I worked in the ski industry a long time so this is something that uh, you would really appreciate it if you're skiing day in and day out so that's something that I've added at a touch. The refrigerator is uh, an isotherm uh, stainless steel uh, very nice refrigerator freezer. We had two of these isotherm units on our sailboat and I had an isotherm unit in uh, my last van and they are bulletproof. <laughs> By far not the cheapest uh, refrigerator freezer you can buy. Uh, this is the most expensive refrigerator freezer I've ever purchased in me being on this planet for almost 60 years. But very nice, very nice stainless steel. The countertops are all Corian rice paper. Very nice. If something scratches or uh, you, you dent them up, or somehow it gets dented up or something happens to them, you can sand them smooth and turn, return them to their original state. Right here, we've got a nice utility drawer where you can put your silverware or whatnot. Uh, <clears throat> the kitchen, on this side of the split kitchen, we've got our Rabati sink, which is quite deep. Everything in this build is brand new. Uh, it's not, it's not going to be used. So whoever buys this is going to 
gonna have a brand a brand new a brand new build uh, over here we've got uh, our dimmable main cabin light switch again another uh, 110 120 uh, ac outlet we've got massive drawers uh, for the kitchen all on marine hardware that simply close very simply with one push and they won't open so we've got in this drawer we've got our induction cooktop which can be placed here and plugged in for cooking or can be placed over here for cooking or you can place it outside on the tray outside for cooking so it gives you three different options and it stores quite nicely right here in this drawer uh, we've got another massive drawers down here all the drawers are solid wood there's not gonna be any particle board or anything like that in this van everything is solid hardwood all the wood is popular which is a very very nice hardwood and it, the contrasting colors makes for some interesting designs i especially like this piece right over here the color on it is cool and th that's the way the popular is it goes from that hard dark color to a to a blonde easily like an easy transition it's very pleasing to the eyes so all the wood is is popular with the exception of the ceiling which is western cedar under here in the kitchen we've got to divert your gray water from the sink and either go into this six gallon uh, tank which you can manually enter or you can twist the valve and it drains right out onto the ground uh, for easy use again we've got three more drawers over here with lots of storage lots of storage this one, this one was uniquely cut out to fit to fit behind this to fit in the sink uh, i'm going to put a little trash bin in here so we have an area for trash this drawer is actually on a 300 pound slide little storage there which you can use to access making making it easier getting in and out of the queen size berth in the back so that's nice to have that's really nice to have uh we've got the microwave over here a uh, nice size microwave uh, up here we've got our max air fan it's got the remote it's the max air deluxe very nice fan now let's talk about the insulation and the sound deadening the, the van has uh, got extensive sound deadening and then it has two layers of thin slit throughout the entire van making it a very nice uh, warm van uh, the headliner was pulled down we got thin slit behind there and sound deadening behind there I'm also in the process right now, which I'll have uh, because it's getting a little bit colder here, of uh, making some Reflectix window covers that will uh, cover all of the uh, glass in the van. So it'll provide some privacy as well as increasing the, uh, the heat, the uh, insulation value of the van. Uh, and then speaking of uh, staying warm in the van, what we have to keep us warm in the van is a SFAR uh, underneath the seat right here. It's not a Chinese diesel heater this is the real s far and uh, i had one in my last van and it was bulletproof and i really enjoyed it so that was one of the first things i put in up here we have all of our uh, electronics uh in uh, two boards here on the top we've got our dc distribution panel which has the heater and that's a tank heater for the 24 gallon northwest conversions water tank underneath the back wheel well refrigerator and then water pump i always have to uh, suggest having a water pressure switch because you don't want to flood your van with the water pump running all the time uh, down here you got a uh, ac 120 volt ac very simple you got your outlets your microwave and then uh, uh, the water heater for the uh, tank in the back uh, and then here's your inverter charger, your Victron 712 uh, battery monitor, which gives you uh, the information on the uh, 412 lithium amp hour uh, batteries. Uh, the, all the uh, systems in here are Victron, uh, all integrated. So I used Victron components, Blue Sea uh, fuses and breakers, anchor wiring. Everything is high end incorporated from the marine industry. So no shortcuts were taken in any of these electronics. Up here we've got a little coffee caddy, I like to call it, and right here you've got your uh, solar disconnect. So there's 200 watts of Renergy solar on top of the van, uh, and this will give you the ability to dis disconnect that on this nice little cabinet. There's extensive lighting throughout the whole van, switches and lights everywhere. Some of them are on dimmers, and some of them are not. There's extensive USB ports. You're, you're never more than a few feet away from a USB port in this van. Uh, let's go move over to the uh, shower area. The shower area is... Uh, a tile not real tile it's it's a plastic tile made to look look real uh, this is a marine grade uh, shower nozzle that we had under boat down here you've got your toilet paper holder recessed back into the wall uh, porta potty it's got a stainless steel uh, shower pan uh, one of the interesting features that I put in this was a window in the bathroom which you don't see in very many vans it's a window here with a Dometic shade for privacy 
Up here, we've got our L track, two rows of L track, so you can ha uh, hang your ski clothes or wetsuits or anything you need to hang that you want to drip down into the shower. We've also got this uh, sliding door, and uh, we've got an air gap up here so the shower can breathe. Everything in the van is designed to breathe, meaning I don't want things enclosed in spaces. Everything is designed to breathe so we get airflow behind the components. Every single component is thought out to have airflow so we don't have mold or mildew or moisture bringing up or excess, excess of heat building up behind some of these appliances. Before we head into the bedroom area with the queen size bed, just a couple little things up here in the front. Um, I put a nice backsplash of the rice paper quarry in here so if you are using the sink, you know, things don't get splashed up in here. Uh, all the cloth in the van is a uh, tweed cloth that's fire resistant and stain resistant with a eighth inch foam backing behind it, making for a really nice look. Uh, it's think, turned out really nice. Okay, up in the bedroom, as I said, we've got this uh, nice step to making it easier to get in and out of the queen size bed. If we come up in here, one of the first things that I like about this, this bedroom is the marine hatch. It's a Lumar hatch, marine grade, which allows me access to the roof which provides utility for uh, watching a nice sunset, but also utility to clean the solar panels, making it very easy. Uh, incorporated into the hatch is a, made by Ocean Air, is a blackout screen for blackout and insulation. As well as over here, you've got a bug screen to keep the, crit to keep the critters out. Very nice. We had uh, four of these on our boat for 11 years and they were bomber proof and worked great. I had one in my last van. We have mule bags over here for his and her storage of clothing. We've got a fan in the corner, a coral fan, multi-speed on a timer. The mattress is a memory foam queen size, full queen size bed, six inch memory foam mattress. As you can see, we've got reading lights uh, on each side, uh, along with a USB outlet underneath. We've got extensive L-Track over here if, you, if you'd like to hang things. Now, if you notice this bed, you can sleep I'm six feet. No, uh, we can sleep east-west due to the uh, flare space flares that were installed on each side, uh, giving you that extra, extra amount, uh, amount of space. Um, over here, we've got our, our light switch for the lights. One thing I did in this van that I learned from my last van is I put the heater switch to turn on the SVAR heater next to the bed. So you don't have to get out of the bed when it's freezing cold to turn on the heater. That was one of the first things I did in this van. So you can lie in bed, stay all nice and snuggly in your covers, pop on the heater, let the van heat up, and then get out of your bed. That was very, very important to me. Uh, got this little net back here just to keep the pillows and things in there from falling out when uh, when uh, the, the uh, back doors are open. Very nice bed, very spacious, plenty of room for two people. Okay, going from the back to the front, front to the back, we've got access to the cellular shade to the massive, massive garage, which we'll take a look at next. Uh, as you can see, we've got plenty of space. So. I like this open, a lot of people close this off. I like the utility of being able to go in and out of the garage without having to go outside of the van. So I've, there's been many times, I think on my last tour, I mentioned that uh, we had a powder day at Solitude and the guy plowed in my uh, back door and my skis were there and I was freaking out. So I, having the ability to go through and grab my skis and go out the slider door made for a great powder day. And that in itself for me paid for it. So it was well worth the, the time and investment of doing something like that. Before we head around back, let me just show you a little bit of the intricacies of this, this van. Underneath here, you can see the bed frame is made from ATV ramps, which are extremely lightweight and uh, are only two inches thick. All the wiring in the van, as I said, is anchor wiring, all done really well, done very professionally. Everything is done to the highest of standards you're gonna see in a van build. Um, this is like no other van you're going to find on the market in terms of safety, how it was built, and frankly the layout and just the enjoyability of this van. Now let's head around back. Uh, as you can see, uh, I put some flare space flares on. This is the exterior view. You can see, very nicely done with uh, Raptor paint on them. The name of the van is Element 115. If you know anything about Element 115, supposedly it's dense enough that it can create its own gravity. And by creating your own gravity opens up a world of possibilities. I'll let you divulge into that. Back here, we've got the full towing package from Mercedes uh, with the hitch and, as well as, and the uh, optional step that makes it easier to get in and out of the van. 
Okay, everything was well thought out in this van and we got all the bells and whistles in, in, in the garage along with some very, very unique things that uh, you're not gonna see in other builds. So, we'll start with the uh, bike tray. Simple slides out. We've got L-Track connection points giving you the utility to turn it into anything you want. You can strap down, say, an, uh, an extra cooler or an extra refrigerator back here. You can put a piece of wood on it and turn it into a table. The utility of having the L-Track in the rack opens up a world of possibilities and it's very simple, very lightweight, and very nice. Down over here on the driver's side, or what we'd call the port side, we have a 24 gallon Northwest conversion water over the wheel well water tank. You've got a hatch here that you can access the tank to clean it. Uh, you've got your two and a half gallon Bosch hot water heater, 110. We've also got a Blue Sea auxiliary 12 volt panel that's expandable as you can see we've only used uh, about half of the panel there uh, the water pump located here we've installed it in a manner that uh, it makes it easy to take off to drain so uh, you don't want the water freezing in there and cracking your pump these loops are designed to minimize the vibration uh, of the water pump being transferred uh, to the frame of the vehicle uh, over here, we've got a Blue Sea 30 amp double pole breaker for the shore power coming in. Uh, right here, we've got an exterior hot and cold water shower that you can use out here either to take a shower or to clean your bikes or, or whatever. Very nice. Uh, the van can easily be drained via gravity uh, by hooking up. Uh, I have a hose that goes here that comes out and the whole van can be gravity drained when you want to drain the water out if you're encountering freezing conditions or if you want to store the van in freezing conditions and not have the, the heat on. The tank has a heater in it, which uh, you can turn on, which will turn on when the temperature hits 37 degrees to prevent the tank from freezing. Over on the passenger side or what we call the starboard side, are all of the electronics. <clears throat> We've got two SOK uh, 208 amp hour, or excuse me, 206 amp hour batteries. We've got our Lynx distributor. All the uh, components are Victron and everything talks to each other. Like I said, everything is Blue Sea. Up there, you can see it, but we've got our MPPT uh, solar booster. You've got your Blue Sea uh, distribution panel there. Victron Multi Plus 2. It's got two legs in it, so you can do another leg of 110 on it. The van does not have air conditioning, but it is wired for air conditioning. So that Max Air hatch has the wires and it's capable. If you want to stick an air conditioner on there, it's all set to go. Back here, you got your two light switches, one for the garage, and then one for the green lights in the uh, electronic tank. You've also got another uh, AC outlet here, 110, and you've got, again, USB outlet here. They're all, uh, uh, they're all over the place. Uh, over here, we've got our shore power, exterior shore power cord. Uh, it's a 30 amp, pretty basic, three prong. 30 amp. Uh, underneath here uh, for the shower, uh, what you can't see, it's kind of stealthily hidden under there, is a five gallon gray water tank. And again, the flare space, we've got both flares on each side. Um, we've got our, our uh, solar on top, 8020 rack, very stealthily designed, very nice. Two, uh, I said 200 uh, watts of solar up there. Rick, thank you very much for taking the time to give us a tour of your awesome creation. I'm always impressed with what you're doing. The last fan was incredible, but this is spectacular. Now, the last fan, you were living in it and you wound up selling it after the video. This fan you built to sell. Yes, this fan I'm not living in. In fact, I'm not even going to use it. It's going to be up for sale here very quickly, right after this video comes out. And uh, I plan on doing uh, two of these or so a year. So if this is something that interests you, a professional level build, uh, very nicely designed with everything thought out, a lot of safety features, all high-end equipment. Contact me and i uh, happy to help you out. I really enjoy, honestly, I really enjoy doing these. Well, I'll leave a link in the description so they could click over to check out the build and the pricing and how to contact you. This is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.